turned out to be a great day to play uh, football. Uh, you know, we was a little worried about the weather there, but uh, it turned out to be nice and sunny. And uh, we knew they had a good football team. And, uh, and I let the guys say they watched extra film this week to prepare, do the little things. And uh, they was focused and ready to play. Uh, offensively, uh, I think Anthony played a great game uh, in his first start in uh, over two years. Uh, throwing for over 300 yards. Three touchdowns. He did throw a pick six, but you know, uh, we knew he wasn't going to play a perfect game. Uh, you know, so that, that throw actually was about two feet off. If he threw it two feet to the left, uh, we get a big play. But he just came off his hand, with Rome to the inside, and the guy made a great play and took it in for a touchdown. Uh, you know, uh, you're going to have some adversity in games. It's what are you going to do after the adversity strikes. And uh, he proved that he was a winner and a champion and a great quarterback and came back and keep on making plays. Defensively, I think. Uh, Everybody's at this game, and everybody in this room know who got the best defense in D2 football. There's no question about it. We got the best defense, and those guys have been proving it all year. And they proved it today when people thought that they was going to get 45 points put on them. And they really didn't get a, uh, any points put on them because we, we gave up seven on the interception, and then the long kickoff return set up another touchdown in the five-yard line. So I heard somebody say we gave up 14 points. No, they didn't give up 14 points. Uh, the special teams and offense gave those points. What did you do differently defensively against this quarterback that maybe you, you know you, you tweaked? During well, we just got pressure on. Pressure. You know, we said if we could rush four and get pressure on, it was going to be a long day for him. And that's pretty much what we did. Uh, like uh, Justin said, we got him off his mark, made him move, and uh, we forced him to throw out routes instead of the ball to the inside of the field. They want to throw the ball to the inside of the field. Uh, we saw on film where he didn't throw it accurately. Uh, when he was throwing the ball outside. So we kind of took the inside of the field away, forced him to throw outside. And you saw most of his incompletions when he was trying to throw the ball outside. So uh, it was a great uh, game plan by defensive coaches, and then uh, the guys went out and executed. Massey in the first half, I mean, I thought he was he stood out. But I know he's high maintenance off the field, but just talk about his play. He high maintenance on the field. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, he obviously he's stood out. high maintenance. <laughs> All the time. Uh, you know, he's a great football player, you know, and you, you're going to have that uh, great player sometimes. Uh, he's a little high maintenance, but, uh, you know, sometimes you put up with stuff uh, not too much, you know, uh, because nobody's bigger than the team. But uh, Mash is a great player. He makes plays, and, uh, you know, he loves to reverse the field. And uh, that's how he got his uh, little rib he, got, he was talking about because he tried to cut back one time, and he could have just stepped on out of bounds. And I always tell him, Matthew, you can't break every play. Sometimes you just got to go on down and run out of bounds. And he was trying to break that play, too, and kind of slipped and left his ribs open, and the guy got a shot on him. But he'll be fine. Carlos mentioned that uh, it was like you guys knew what was coming. I mean, you said watch extra film. Uh, did you guys on the sideline feel like, yeah, especially Carlos as the captain, that you guys knew what, what Shippensburg was going to do offensively? We did. Uh, the coaching staff did a great job of breaking them down on film uh, by formations. Uh, motions, what they like to do. Uh, and they've been so successful with it all year that we knew they weren't going to change what they do because they've been doing the same thing all year, but people couldn't stop them. So when they got in certain formations and motions, we knew what plays they was going to run. And we had a couple other keys, too, letting us know when it was pass and run. Uh, and so we knew when they was going to run the ball, we knew they was going to pass the ball. And uh, the guys just did a great job of flying around executing. But the D-line, the key was the D-line getting pressure. Uh, we just bring it forward, and then we can stay back in coverage. The, uh, in the first half, the uh, like, as you say, the the offense and then the special teams kind of let them kind of in the game for a little bit. Talk about the um, the kick returns. It seemed like that was if there was anything that was a weak spot for you guys in the first half, it might have been the kick you know the kick coverage. I'm um, just talk about you know what you guys you know what, what was going on with you guys in the well, kick well, coverage. And uh, I don't know how he broke that. He got he got through there and we missed the tackle, and uh, he was down the side. Uh, the other one we kicked it deep and. Uh, yeah, he, re he returned it on us. You know, we got to do a better job of flying down there. Uh, I tell you what, the last three games, three or four games we played, we've been doing an excellent job on the kick team. And so that's why we went back to kicking it deep again. And uh, But, you know, the thing we try to do is once we know that uh, the offense can't move on our defense, then we'll push it. And the only way they could score today is we kicked it deep. And so, uh, as you can see, after that, we start pushing the ball because the offense couldn't score on us. And so no need, need to give them opportunity to score by kicking the ball deep. Uh, but I, I think that, you know, we had a couple big momentum plays there with Anthony interception to tie the game up. And then we came right back and hit Massey on the post to regain the momentum.
And then on the third down and short, Anthony fumbled. Uh, we got an interception his very next play. And so that was two big uh, moments in the game where we looked like we were about to go up 21-7. And he fumbled. And then we get it right back. And uh, then we go in and score to go back up 21-7. So that was, those were two huge moments in the football game uh, where it looked like they had momentum to uh, get back in the game. And uh, we took advantage of it. We got a turnover. We got in the end zone. Coach, you feel like your defense is playing as well as they can play right now? They're still more than home. <clears throat> well, uh, they had 76, 78 plays, 280 yards. Uh, that's pretty That's pretty darn good. You get 78 plays, you got like 280 yards, and they normally average about 500 and something. How about 540, John? Yeah, I knew John knew that. <laughs> <laughs> they average 540, so uh, that's almost half of what they normally get, and they had just as many plays. So. Uh, it's tough to, I don't know how many interceptions we have. Three. Three interceptions, it's tough to play better than that. Hold that tight team, that kind of offense, get three interceptions, hold them 280 yards and 78 plays. Uh, uh, that, and if they can play any better than that, I would love to see it. What about IUP coming up? They beat this team pretty handily. Uh, that's your next opponent team. What do you know about them? <clears throat> well, we saw their game when uh, they beat them. Uh, and we, we watched that film and studied that film a lot because that was the first thing to shut them down. They held them to 10 points. I think they beat them 41 to 10. And, uh, you know, if you look at our game, uh, the game wasn't as close as our score was. Uh, you know, you slice it up any way you want. We should have beat them 50 something to zip. But we didn't. That's why you play the game. So IUP beat them 41 to 10. Our defense held them uh, less than what IUP did. Uh, so it, it looks like we're a pretty even team. Like it's going to be an evenly matched team. They like to run the ball. They're not going to spread you out and throw the ball like they did. Uh, they're going to try to run the ball next week. So uh, we got to be able to stop running next week and uh, force them to throw the ball like we did against Elizabeth City because they want to run the ball. The, uh, I, I agree. I agree. Obviously, the, we were at the IUP game at least in terms of the ship. And I, I would agree. If it wasn't for your turnovers, it could have been a lot worse today. Um, so you said you looked at that IUP film a lot. Did you get a lot from what they did against Shippensburg is into your game plan today to, to stop Shippensburg? We did uh, defensively. You know, we saw that uh, they was aggressive. They was physical with them, and uh, they got some pressure on the quarterback, and they was able to uh, slow that offense down. And so uh, we knew that's the game plan that we need to have, and uh, that's the game plan we executed on defense. Uh, offensively, you know, they didn't do much. Uh, they would 4-3, you know, cover four, shell, uh, rolled a cover three. You know, pretty basic. You know, uh, wasn't anything special about it. You just got down executing. Any other questions? Do you feel like the attitude of the team is a little different, more business-like, less emotional this year than it was last year in the tournament? I, I do, you know, and I think that the guys are really focused on the big picture and our big goal to win the national championship. Uh, you know, e even in the CIAA championship game against a great Olympic City team, uh, that was a big win. And, uh, you know, the guys just didn't celebrate the way that normal teams celebrate after winning the championship. And that's because they, they are focused and they got an eye on the big prize of winning the national championship. And they did celebrate after that game, but just not as much as you would think they would. And, uh, and you, as you can see today after the victory, there wasn't a lot of jumping around, celebrating. Uh, and when we played, we expect to win. Uh, we expect to play well. We expect to win. And so when we win games, uh, the, guy, the guys understand that big picture of winning the national championship is our, our goals. And, uh, you know, like I told you guys, go celebrate tonight. Don't do anything stupid. Come back. Uh, we're ready to film tomorrow. Correct the mistakes. And uh, watch my IUP and get ready. Any other questions for Coach? All right, thank you.